So in this video, I'm going to do a review on the Sennheiser Game 1 headset for the Xbox One. This video was mainly for anybody on console looking to buy this headset or looking to buy any headset for console gaming. And if there is one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's that every headset is or can be completely different on every platform. A headset that works properly on PC doesn't mean it's going to work that well for consoles. So try and keep that in mind if you are looking to purchase a gaming headset. Moving on with the video, the good things about this headset from my point of view, number one, it is somewhat comfortable. I prefer foam or memory foam. It is cloth, but it isn't that cheap cloth that Turtle Beach usually has on some of their headsets. I still would have preferred memory foam. The reason why is cloth headsets tend to get hot really fast. Also, these did clamp down on the sides of my head a little bit, but overall it wasn't that bad. I would say in terms of comfort, it's above average compared to other headsets. Uh, there's really not much more to say there. As far as the sound quality, once again it was above average, but with a couple of issues. It did pick up footsteps really well, Pinpointing exactly where gunshots and footsteps were wasn't the best, but all sounds sounded exactly how they were supposed to sound. Nothing was metallic-y or too bass-heavy. There was no mudded audio. It was pretty clear with this headset, but the volume level was really low, and I'll talk about that in a minute. And real quick, the microphone... Sennheiser is known for having the best mics for gaming headsets in the industry. There is nobody that even compares to them. However, I couldn't test it out for myself, and I'll explain that in a second when I get to the bad things about this headset. But before I do that, I have to say I have heard other players that were using a Sennheiser headset in the past, and it's like, wow, you would think they were using a studio microphone like the one I'm using to commentate this YouTube video. They sound amazing. Turtle Beach does not compare. HyperX, Razer, SteelSeries, none of them compare. Even $350 Astro headsets, it's the exact opposite. Astro headsets, in my opinion, have the worst microphone out there for gaming headsets. And Sennheiser has the best. Just by hearing other people talk that own a pair, it's crazy how nice they sound. So I have to give them the benefit of the doubt. I just wish I could have used the mic once and recorded it so you could all listen to it. But unfortunately I returned this, which leads me to the bad things about this headset. So the first thing that really pissed me off was it didn't even come with a proper adapter like it should have. For whatever reason, Sennheiser thought it would be okay not to include the PCV adapter that is 100% needed to use the microphone on Xbox. We are not talking about the Xbox stereo adapter. We are talking about a different adapter that merges the game audio, the chat audio, as well as enables the use of the microphone so people can hear you. Without that adapter, which will cost another $20, $25, including tax, shipping, and handling, by the way, you won't be able to use your microphone on Xbox. And to me, it's not about the extra 20 bucks you have to put out for it. It's kind of like an insult. You pay anywhere between 100 bucks to $250 for the headset. And Sennheiser is too cheap to include a cable or adapter that cost them a whopping $5 to make, that's just bullshit to me. That's something that Turtle Beach or Astro does all the time to customers. And I really did not appreciate that at all. The second thing, and this is probably the biggest issue, was the overall volume. I had it turned all the way up and it still wasn't loud enough. Which means, guess what, you either return the headset or you buy a mix amp to get everything you want out of it which would cost you another 80 to $120 to get a mix amp. And that's way too expensive just to turn the volume up. So I was very disappointed with that, and that's the main reason why I returned it. And the last thing I wanted to throw into the conversation was this. 
And I wouldn't consider this a good thing or a bad thing. I just think it's a personal preference that's definitely worth mentioning. The open acoustic, open back design on this headset is meant to let you hear things around you and also to let air in so it doesn't get too hot for your ears. The problem with open acoustic or the open back design is that you are going to hear everything that goes on around you to the point that it's like you don't even have your headphones on at all. And I am not exaggerating. So if you live with other people, you are going to hear them very clearly. And for me, being a competitive gamer, I don't want to hear outside noises when I am gaming. I just want to hear the in-game sounds. Not the train going by my house in real life, not the car or motorcycle going down the street, not the lawnmower from the neighbor's yard. I don't want to hear any of that crap. The only thing that's good about the open back design is that it stops you from yelling or raging when some bullshit happens in game. Because you can hear yourself at the same volume level as you would without it even being on your head at all. That's the only good thing. So it's kind of good, kind of bad to have this feature. It's just... It, it just wasn't for me because of all the outside noises, especially when the trains start rolling in at night because I, I could not hear shit when they started rolling in. So is this headset worth buying for console? No, because you need the mix amp and the adapter to get everything you need out of it. This headset is solely designed for PC, not console. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks for making it this far in the video. Subscribe if you thought this video was helpful, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.